everyone, this is Dave from Geek and Noise, and welcome to my continued coverage of the HTC Desire. Well, I'm going to actually correct that straight away, because I'm not dedicating this video to the Desire. I'm actually responding to a lot of viewer requests to do some coverage on the Android market. Now, we're all familiar with the Apple iPhone and the iTunes App Store, which allows you to download uh, extra applications and, and useful utilities to your phone. Well, on Android-based mobile phones, it's the Android market that you're going to visit to actually get hold of these applications. Now, when you first load up the Android market, you're presented with a scrollable list of featured applications. And these are downloadable simply just by selecting one of them. For example, Evernote. It gives you a brief overview of the application. Some screenshots. User comments. Uh, some details about the developer etc and then to install you just simply tap the install button it then tells you what the application is going to be able to access on your, on your phone so in this case it's going to be able to access my location my network communication personal information and hardware controls if I click OK it says here your item will be downloaded now this is now downloading in the background a little icon will appear in the status bar when it actually starts downloading and it will continue to download and then automatically install. Now if I want to search around for something else I can browse perhaps just the applications and then I've got further categories I can select from uh, for the various apps and then if I want to go back one stage I tap the back button here I can go into games again different categories for games, perhaps I want to look at arcade and action and you'll see that some of them have prices next to them and there will be some applications and games in here that are completely free of charge. Now I can look at just the top three ones this just shows me just the free applications I've tried some of these, they vary in quality uh, but certainly do give you some entertainment whilst you're using your mobile phone. And then if I tap on downloads it shows me the downloads that I've actually selected. So these are applications here that I've already installed onto my handset. I've got Foursquare, Google Maps, Task Manager, Spotify, World War, Weatherbug, Shop Savvy. They're already installed and then the one at the top is just queuing there waiting to start the download. Now I can also search so let's do that right away. I'm going to search for let's search for a TV guide you can see I've already done this once before in my testing and this is coming up with various TV guides so well I'm in the UK so I'm going to select TV guide UK free by Jersey Productions again it gives me a description of the application some screenshots user feedback developer information let's tap install and then OK and now it's telling me my item will be downloaded so let's just uh, cut away from the video for a moment now and I'll come back to you when those have actually downloaded onto the HTC Desire. So now I've got some little icons up in my status bar here. I'll give you a close up of that. And you can see that TV Guide UK download complete. Successfully installed. Evernote's also downloaded. Let's tap on the TV Guide one. And this actually just goes back to the uh, download screen here to actually show me that the application has in fact installed to my handset. So I'm going to come out of market now because I've finished with using the Android Market uh, interface. Go back out to my home screen and let's go across to where I've got some free space to maybe put a shortcut to one of those applications. Now I'm going to tap and hold and then I'm going to do a shortcut to a program and I'm going to scroll down until I get to TV Guide because that's the one I'm going to show you. TV Guide is installed already so I can actually just reposition that. Let's pop that over there. Now I can access via that shortcut that I've got there or I could go into my main sort of scrollable menu of all the programs and it also resides in there as well. But let's do it from this shortcut I've created. Tap on the icon and it says there's some changes since the last version. That's fine. Click on OK. 
and it's welcoming me to the application asking me to select the channels I want to display and here I've got a scrollable list of all the channels I can select from so I'm going to put ticks in some of the channels that I watch scroll down a bit here we go we've got uh, sky movies comedy absolutely stacks of channels to choose from so it seems like they've got good amount of coverage on the channel selection click on save and then I'm presented with now and next on those channels I can filter them into just movie channels and here I'm given all the main movie channels and even a, a line going across if the movie's already started to show that some of that movie has already been aired so this isn't a review of TV Guide but I just wanted to show you how easy it was to download and install an application and get it up and running let's go back out to that home screen let's go back into market just give you one more um, example of how easy it is to use so I'm going to go straight in and, sh and search and I want to find something to use with my Twitter so let's type in Twitter and then on search and here it's uh, come up with some options for Twitter so I've got Twitter apps to go it's £1.50 Twidroid Pro which I've heard of I've heard of Twidroid Pro there's a free version of Twidroid here as well now let's tap on that we've got some screenshots again good feedback five stars out of five on all of those so that looks really good so let's install that it's got full access to a lot of the phone tools not bothered about that let's click OK it says it's going to be downloading a little icon up here in my status bar at the top and as you can see if I pull that status bar down it says Twidroid has successfully installed so it's downloaded and installed already that's really quick let's tap on that it takes me straight into the Twidroid application and then I'm going to tap start setup got some uh, end user license agreement details there tap accept and then it's asking me to sign into my Twitter account well if you want to follow me on Twitter you can find me by simply searching for Geekanoid so please do follow me and then my password so that's my password in I'm going to tell it to remember me tap on login and there we go uh, do you want to follow Twidroid on Twitter well, I'm going to say no for now and there I've got a list of all of the updates that the people I'm following have made uh, icons across the bottom for posting new tweets sending direct messages searching and refreshing etc so again really nice example there of searching for an app downloading it installing it and getting it up and running so I think that the Android market is certainly maturing at a great pace I think it's a absolutely fantastic selection of applications on the Android market it's not quite as user friendly uh, for discovering apps as perhaps the iTunes App Store but certainly the selection of apps there you're going to be able to find something to do the job or the task that you're trying to achieve well thank you very much for listening this has been Dave from Geekanoids please do come back soon and check out more videos on the Geekanoids channel this video review is sponsored by Crucial the memory experts they provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.